You know, I really feel bad for Assassination Classroom because I'm pretty sure over in Japan it's not getting like the views and like the sales that it wants to get because for for like Assassination Classroom it's pretty due to the fact it's in Shonen Jump you know the same magazine Naruto was in and One Piece are in it's pretty popular towards the manga side but towards the anime I'm not sure but I'm pretty sure um, that the Blu-ray and DVD sales something that keeps like the anime industry going the sales for Assassination Classroom are pretty low and the fact that Assassination Classroom did get a second season is only I feel like it's only because it's Shonen Jump and it's a quote-unquote popular series now I feel bad for Assassination Classroom for one it's not getting the sales and DVDs that it's expecting but that's that's one different aspect but the other aspect is that it has the same airing time as an anime known as in English it's called is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon which uh, I saw the first episode and I didn't really like it and the thing that I feel like that sells that show the one I just mentioned is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon is the main girl in that show being Hestia which you know uh, she has she she's a goddess and she has really big boobs right and her boobs are held under a ribbon like a blue ribbon that like holds them up like physically it doesn't make sense but like it's it was like an anime trend for like the last like three weeks or like month or whatever it was but like I think that's one of the seven points of the show itself because other than that, this show is very generic on what it is. It's, I feel, it's like, it's in my eyes, it's kind of like Sword Art Online, where it's like, it's kind of a, it has a good aspect, but it just kills and everything else, like it just bombs. And the way the show builds itself, and I saw this straight from the first episode, is that it's gonna, it's another generic harem anime. It's not really etchy. There's some parts I believe that are etchy, but another, other than that, it's. It's just like another generic harem anime, and it doesn't really help when you have the main character is voiced by Kirito. And I'm pretty sure Asuna's voice actress is in the show too, but I don't think she's part of the harem. Anyway, enough ranting. Going back to Assassination Classroom, this episode itself, maybe I should have skipped reviewing it because it seemed like this was more or less a build-up episode to the next episode. Like, in this episode itself, they were building up to an assassination attempt at the island that the students, that Class 3E go to because they... They got the best scores overall, like compared to the school. And you know what I found really funny was that, like, that little chestnut mascot for the school, who's always like bashing on Class 3E, and it's supposed to be like a cartoon to like motivate the students, like in a more like comedic way. And thing is, like, like towards the end of this little skit that they had, it was like the little chestnut thing got angry because like, it, what Class 3E is going? I just found that hilarious because it that chestnut thing, like, I can see where it's supposed to be compelling like where the audience is going trying to do with that but you know it's funny because that thing's an asshole and like I said this episode was mostly building up for a big assassination attempt for next episode but for the most part this episode was very comedic with all of its like the way it was building up stuff like the first third I think or maybe fourth of the episode was that pornography skit and it, if you haven't seen the episode uh, it's not what you think it was just like Koro Sensei the main I guess character uh, it was is like a big perv so one of the students used a bunch of pervy magazines and just to lure him into a trap and it was just really funny because one of the lines of the character I don't remember his name but he was like pornography will save the world and there's a small transition section where it's the students training because they want to uh, use the beach the the trip that they won to use that as an assassination trap on court sensei and I, I forgot his name I think it's Larvo he um he mentioned uh, he comes by because Kar Karasuma asks and if you don't remember he's uh, Irina's teacher which was pretty cool anyway that's besides the point we he introduces a new character that I assume that's gonna come into play later and that being the best assassin in the world and they call him the Reaper or at least that's what Funimation translated it to I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be the god of death and stuff like that anyway we quote unquote meet new students. It's just more or less that these two students never really had lines in previous episodes and that being a girl who's really who's a good sharpshooter and the other being a character which I'm gonna nick nickname him Iroji MC Kun because if you don't if you guys don't know an Iroji is like a pretty much it's essentially a hentai game and forever for whatever reason Japan the, the guys who like draw the main character who like the main character that's a dude most of the time and he ends up having sex with all the girls within the within the visual novel or whatever you want to call it for some reason they never draw him to have eyes and this character never didn't have eyes I was like that's kinda weird but I'm assuming that's that's 
I, I don't know why they did that. But that's besides the point. He's a really good sniper, and the other girl is a really good shooter. And she, like, she's a marksman. Pretty, much. They're both marksmen, essentially. And I guess you can pair them together. And then the next time we see the students, they're at the trip. They're on the island, having some fun. They're setting up some traps. Like, each, like, all the students, they split up into groups. Like, what they kind of did on the field trip back in episode 8. I think, I don't remember, whenever the last time they were on a trip, uh, they, they break up into groups and they help each other like set up traps and set up their assassination attempts to get rid of Kuro, Kuro Sensei. And then Irina comes out in her bikini and um, you know how in Fairy Tale, at the very, like in the early episodes of Fairy Tale, whenever they showed like a pretty like scandalous scene, they would go like, wow, that's, that, that's what popped in my head when we saw Irina in her bikini. Anyway, moving on. Anyway, I think the author and the animators are trying to give you hints as an audience, or give us hints as an audience, of shipping uh, Karasuma and Irina together on just the way they're just like, like how Irina was being flirty and all of this, and just practically being herself. And then Karasuma, he, you think he's playing along, but then he's not, and he brings up a good uh, character progression point, being like, shouldn't like, in in like in the case of a, an assassination attempt. All things like every even though you can set up perfectly things don't go the way you want it right and then Irina's like pretty much you can never expect things to go your way of course I'm paraphrasing that but then we we transition into the students and Kuro Sensei they're in a cog I don't know how to pronounce this they're in the little island home things anyway uh, Kuro Sensei got really dark like he literally got like his skin went from yellow to black and he he uses his mold and remember, that's one of his techniques to get out of sticky situations when he gets rid of his mold or like his his shell or his skin. Um, and then I, it's just like you see the students, they're transitioning, like they're getting better each time, like when it comes to assassination. But then there's a cliffhanger, so we don't know if it's going to be successful or not, which I'm assuming it's not going to be successful because due to the fact that the manga is still going and uh, this anime got a second season, I'm pretty sure it's not, spo it's not supposed to be successful, which, you know, it kind of, like, loses the tension that way, but it'll be kind of, like, if Assassination Classroom started out as, like, I don't know, like, as an anime original thing, and then, like, they spun off to, like, a manga and all of this, it would have been really cool to, like, have these kind of cliffhangers to see if the students are su successful or not, but, you know, since it's it went from manga to anime, it's, you, you kind of predict, you can pr somewhat predict what's going to happen next, but, you know, it's not too bad. Anyway, my grade for the episode, I'm going to give it a B, plus the humor was on point this episode, and, like, just seeing the students knowing what they're doing, getting, like, getting better at assassination attempts, and all that stuff was pretty good, and then Irina in her bikini, which, you know, uh, I'm not gonna dive into why I put that as a positive point for the episode. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this review, and thanks for watching, but don't forget to leave, let me know your thoughts on the episode down in the comments below, but don't forget to leave a like if you think the video enjoys, if you enjoyed the video, and, or subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and you like what you saw, words, and things, I can't say them. Anyway, until next time, bye.